Hello, everyone. My name is Therese Molinaire, and I am an ECW implementation specialist. Today, I'm going to be presenting on the cosine feature within ECW. I will be presenting on two different instances, one being where the provider is a resident and needs to have his note signed off by his supervising or attending physician with a statement that they were present and agree with the plan. The second instance is where the provider is a mid-level and simply needs a certain percentage of their note signed off on by their supervising physician. My first screen here shows when it is a resident and the cosine feature does need to have three item keys to be turned on and I have listed them here. The provider must be listed as a provider and then there is a checkoff box that needs to be signed or needs to be checked off. And then the third setup piece is under practice defaults, the general tab, and it's under the residence educational facility. You need to check off two options for show confirmatory sign off and include review confirmatory sign off. So just wanted to let you know that there is some setup involved. I'm going to begin with my database. So I already have um, the item keys turned on and I'm going to show you now where you can um, set up the provider and go through the practice defaults. So if I go to admin and I go to my providers and I'm just going to pick a provider, I'm going to click on, you need to make sure that one of the steps is over here in the middle where the check mark is that there are residents. That's step one. You're going to go to menu and you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to practice defaults. Underneath the general tab and over on the right, there is a tile for residents and educational facility. You'll need to make sure that you check mark these two boxes one, show confirmatory sign off in the progress note, and two, include review notes in confirmatory sign-off. Go ahead and click OK. So I'm going to go to my S Jelly Bean. And again, the sign-off requires two different signatures, correct? So you have, in this particular case, you have the resident and then you have the attending physician. So in this particular case, Therese Molinaire is going to be the resident and then she'll have it signed off by Sam Willis. So I'm going to show you both of the signatures and that workflow. So the resident or the mid-level will document like they normally would. So in this particular case, cosine feature is the, the documentation is there. And so you're going to come down here, that resident will come down here to details and change the assigned to to their supervising or attending physician, which in this particular case is going to be Sam Willis. And then click OK. The next step for the resident is going to be they're going to lock their note. So in this particular case, we're going to lock the note. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to Sam Willis and show you the workflow on how he is going to actually review the documentation and then sign off with a statement on that particular progress note. So I'm going to switch over to Sam Willis so you can see at the top I'm under Sam Willis. Sam Willis will click on his S and do you see there's a halo around the S jelly bean, which is an indicator that he has progress notes assigned to him. So he'll simply click on the S and click review progress notes. And in this window, you can click on search or open. So if I click search, you can see here that Eric test has been assigned to him. Now, there's multiple ways in here that I can view the progress note. If I simply want to click on the I, it will display the progress note. But this will not allow him to sign off on it. 
This is just a view. Again, you can also get to the progress note by simply clicking on the patient's name and it will open up the progress note. If I come back here so he can review it, so if I come back here and I click back on review progress note, so again, there's many ways that you can look at it. So I'm going to go back to my search. Now over to the far right of this window, so it does say the test, test patient, right? And over to the right is the status. So if I click on the ellipsis button for the status, this is where Sam Willis can document his statement that he agrees the plan of treatment, etc. There can be just a, a, a simple template that's created for that provider to pull in that documentation. So in this particular case, if I go here to my notes, I can simply click on the ellipsis button and I built in an attending sign off. So you can go to new and type in whatever the name and the verbiage of that, but I already did that. So I'm going to show you, I already clicked it and see I was present with the resident during the history and exam. I discussed the case with the resident and agree it with the findings and plan is documented in the resident's note. Click OK. Again, notice my, my typos in there. You wouldn't do that in your particular note. And then I'm going to click sign. I can also in here do a timestamp as well. and cosign, click OK. Once I do that, then I can go into the progress note and I can then view that note to show you what is going to display. So if I click back on Eric test, and I wanna scroll down, you can see that down at the bottom, it was electronically signed by Therese Molinaire, and then it was electronically co-signed by Sam Willis. It also in here put the confirmatory sign off, and you can see his paragraph displays. He was present with the resident during the history in the exam, and the rest of his you know, statement is displaying in the progress note. Next, I'm going to be showing you how if the provider is a nurse practitioner, how they will have the option to have that supervising provider sign off on a certain percentage of their notes. So I'm going to go back to Therese test. I'm going to go back to my S jelly bean because I also have another patient test Dominic to show you this example. So if I go ahead and I click on Dominic test, again, the resident or the mid-level, the mid-level being Therese Molinaire in this particular case, will document their note as usual, right? They will come down here and will assign it, so change the assign to, to their supervising physician. Again, in this particular case, it's going to be Sam Willis and simply click OK. Again, in this particular case, the nurse practitioner will lock their note. It's very important to note that the whether it's a resident or a mid-level nurse practitioner, it's very important that they know that they have to lock their note first, right? And then they can assign it or they assign it and then lock it. But Either way, they have to lock it or the functionality won't work, okay? So then I'm going to get in under Sam Willis. And again, you see the identifier with the halo and I'm gonna go to review progress notes. So again, I search and now you see that I have Dominic test is assigned to Sam Willis as well. Again, the same principle applies. I can either go to the I, I can go to test, um, click on the patient's name. Now, I also have the ability to come here. I could use this workflow and just click, you know, cosign, 
and click OK because in this particular case, there doesn't need to be a statement. She, the nurse practitioner, simply needs a percentage of them to be signed off on. So in this particular case, Sam Willis needs to review the note and then sign off on it. Okay, so he could come here and click cosign and click OK. But in this particular case, I'm going to show you a different workflow because depending upon the provider, they may want a, a, an easier way that they don't have to come there to that screen. So they can also sign off in the progress note. So if I click on Dominic test, and remember I'm logged in as Sam Willis right now, the note has been locked. So if I come down here to the addendum button, down here at the bottom, I simply click the drop down and I can view the locked notes log. So if I click on that, I can simply click the documentation, click the log, and you see down at the bottom, once I do that, I can co-sign the selected chart. So if I click on that and now I X out, you can see that the note was electronically co-signed by Sam Willis. There's no confirmatory, you can see where it, the sign off, but it does say co-signed by. So that is another separate workflow that the mid-level would use. This completes my presentation for today. Please also look for incident two billing video that is also out on the biz library. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.